Hello, I'm going to take a few minutes to familiarize you with the instructional materials for the basic robotics mission plan and explain one of the activities. The first instructional material is the presentation, the PowerPoint slideshow presentation. Next slide, please. We try to very early in the presentation engage the students and the, the objectives overall for this presentation are to uh, get the students to understand some of the history of robotics their uses and very basically the components of, of a robot. As I was saying, uh, try and engage the students uh, very early and uh, to note all these, uh, all the slides are, have notes pages on them that explain uh, what you want to talk to on each slide. This first slide uh, suggests to ask the students questions to see what they understand or what, are, what they have thoughts in their minds of uh, for a robot and then to reorient them towards uh, robots that actually exist in, in, uh, uh, in use today. Next slide. Go, go back a slide. Uh, this next slide is a build. Uh, you, can, you can change that if you like to. Uh, the idea here is to, to formalize uh, in the student's mind what what we mean uh, when we say a robot, to give them a, a very basic working definition for robot, and then to engage them to try and get them to come out with some examples of, of using this definition, what a robot is. Uh, you might even begin by asking the students before you show them a definition uh, to come up with their own definition for a robot. I forgot to mention on the, uh, on the previous slide, go back to the, to the history slide, please. At the end of the slide, after getting uh, the ideas out of students, what they think of a robot is to show the NASA video titled Let's Talk Robotics. This video is available on the website, on the Galaxy Explorer website. You can order it by just cl clicking on the link. Okay, go ahead, please. So we've, we have seen this slide. We've seen that slide. What is a robot? Why use robots? Uh, continuing to engage the students, we ask the students to think of, okay, we've talked of History robots, uh, a definition of them, and some examples. We've seen the NASA video, Let's Talk Robotics. Here we uh, ask the students to try and come up with ideas uh, on what they think would be the advantages and disadvantages to using a robot and what kind of situations we may or may not want to use a robot. Next slide. And then at this point, we've covered enough material that we can very, uh, do a very basic activity with the students. And this is an activity that you can tailor to the size uh, of student, of uh, correction of mission team members that you have, uh, or, and as well to the, to the age level. The activity is, is documented in the notes page, and, and simply it is to uh, get in the student's mind what a person has to do who is building and designing a robot in particularly in controlling that robot. Uh, you begin with, if you have a large number of students, breaking them into pairs, or if it's really large uh, groups of, of three or four. Uh, one student uh, you would designate as the robot, and that student responds to the commands uh, of the controllers. If it's, if it's a pair to the other person or to the other people, if you have a, a, a group with multiple team members in it. Uh, the idea is to blindfold uh, the uh, team member who's acting as the robot, and their task is to place an object into a, a trash can or a box that's some distance away. Uh, as the groups go through and do that activity, you can change the dynamics uh, by putting a, a chair or a table, uh, using safe, you know, being, being careful uh, to consider safety issues, uh, but by placing obstacles in the path uh, of, the, of the team member that's acting as, a, as the robot, you can uh, get across to the students some of the complexities that someone who actually builds and programs a robot has to consider. Uh, further after that, you can start defining uh, some syntax for students to use. In other words, define a step as, as two steps or a certain distance, or if you want the, the robot uh, to turn left or turn right, you can express it in a number of degrees, develop a, a, a syntax that only the controller, the controllers only use to, to talk to the, uh, the team member acting as the robot. Uh, you can chart a map and make uh, 
multiple courses. And this, so this is an activity that can, that can be done in a very small amount of time, or you can, uh, depending on the, uh, the skill level or age of your, of your team members, you can adapt it to really go into one of the, one of the key components of, of robotics, and that's controlling the robot. So af after you're all done with, with that activity, next slide. Uh, the remaining slides go into the, the basic components of, of the robot, and uh, as, as I said for, other, for the other slides, the, uh, the notes page document, which you, uh, what you want to talk about in each slide. So go through these components. So uh, component by component, uh, we talk about the, the robot, the controller, functions as the brain of the robot. Next slide. The arm. To uh, moves uh, components of the robot around, and again, you can uh, you can tailor this to the to the age of, of the, the team members and and uh, the notes page, as well as uh, one of the other instructional materials that is available on the website is a, a Word or, or a, a Adobe PDF file that has a more detail written out uh, lesson plan that accompanies these slides. Next slide. And then another component, the drive that moves the parts of the robot. Next. The part of the, uh, of the robot that actually does the work, the end effector. Next slide. The sensor to collect information about the robot's environment. And finally, the last slide, uh, again, to continuing the theme of, of engaging the students is to uh, ask them, uh, given that what they've seen and, and the activity they've been through, uh, how could uh, robots uh, be helpful in space exploration? What are some of the things we'd have to consider uh, in designing a robot for space exploration? Uh, and that, that completes the presentation port part of, of, the, uh, of the mission plan. There are other activities. I ex uh, briefly explained the one that's, that's in the lesson plan. Uh, the written uh, lesson plan that's on the website that supports these slides also includes uh, a couple other activities. One activity is, to, uh, is uh, adapted from, uh, from the NASA site to build, actually build the, uh, the uh, model of the end effector that's on the, uh, on the shuttle. Uh, another uh, activity is to uh, build a small robot out of styrofoam uh, egg uh, cartons and use a balloon to make the robot move. It's not really a, a robot, it's, it's something for uh, maybe younger mission team members to do. And finally, we're developing another activity uh, for, for older team members. Thank you.